day two of hunting in the hill country, Thanksgiving week, 2022. We headed out an hour before sunrise. We drove for quite a while to get to my hunting location. I believe this is the farthest stand from the ranch and definitely the highest on the cliff. When the sun came up, the view was absolutely breathtaking. The tower blind I climbed into was about 10 to 12 feet high. A little awkward to maneuver the door, but probably on purpose to keep strangers out. Mega told me the day prior that she didn't have to stand. I figured out pretty quickly why. The windows are too high, the chairs are too low, and the feeder is less than 40 yards from the high tower blind. I ended up standing for the majority of this hunt. 10 to 15 minutes after getting dropped off, this solo boar quickly moved in. It was so close to the blind, I was literally on my tippy toes aiming what had to be 40 degree downward angle. It was an unsteady, unbalanced shot. If you watch closely, the 135 grain power hammer out of my 300 wind short mag at less than 30 yards blew his right arm off. Twenty minutes later, these three hogs came in just before the feeder went off at 7.15. It's literally a morning breakfast bell. Watch their reaction when the feeder goes off. I was ready to pull the trigger on the biggest one in this group, but I needed to stand up slowly, not knowing if the chair I'm on is going to make any noise. I'm glad I had a momentary delay. That's when the entire sounder came in. Two really nice sized hogs five mid-sized hogs, and four piglets. Got behind my thermal and spotted the biggest hog in the group. Just needed her to stop moving and clear the feeder and brush. Check out the blood trail the thermal picked up. He's only 10 yards into the brush. I thought I had completely missed the second hog after watching this video over a hundred times. I'm convinced I took a shallow quarter away shot and he's dead in the brush less than 30 yards out. 15 minutes later, this nice bodied but narrow horned six pointer walked through. I'm guessing the deer has to be two and a half to three and a half years old. This buck like a few others on the property had the nice darker coat. 10 minutes later, this doe and fawn worked through. I'm fairly certain the doe in the background was sniffing out the second hog that I shot. I unfortunately did not take any pictures or videos of the mountaintop view. The overview of the entire property from the stand is absolutely breathtaking. I climbed out of the stand to recover the hog. Look at that blood trail. That is insane. I'd say that blew her heart out. Big sow. I'm gonna wait till we get the chain to drag her out. Let me roll her over though. Ooh, I just stepped on a cactus. This is probably a good 160-ish. The afternoon hunt was in a creek blind. As much as I love the overview of the morning hunt, this was equally an amazing view. I'm ambidextrous, so I practiced lining up the rifle on both sides if a hog or deer decided to come through. An hour before sunset, this young buck worked the opposite side of the creek. He looked to be about two and a half years old, not too much meat on his bones. That evening, Megan shot her first buck, a good body-sized deer. The family tries to harvest five deer a year to keep meat year-round in the freezer. Glad to share this hunt with you. Stay tuned for my next hill country adventure.